Hi, Dr. Brown. My name's Lisette. Hi, Lisette. I actually have a son um, with ADD, and my relatives say that I'm making too much of a big deal out of his behavioral problems and his issues with school and homework, mm -hmm. and, um, and basically say that ADD is being diagnosed too readily, that normal people have the same symptoms as as um, those people being di diagnosed with ADD? I think a lot of people have that question because they read about ADD in the newspapers and they hear about it on TV and when you look at the list of symptoms of ADHD those are all behaviors and problems that every one of us has trouble with sometimes. But what a lot of people don't understand is that the diagnosis really is given appropriately only to people who have a lot of difficulty with it. And we're talking something around 5-7% of the population of kids. But those who do have that chronic difficulty are really impaired by the symptoms. It makes trouble for them in their learning in school, in their getting along with friends, and they're getting along with their families, and in affects their lives in ways that can make a lot of trouble for them for a long time. And it's those people who have severe chronic problems impairments as a result of these symptoms, those are the people whose symptoms really warrant the diagnosis of ADHD.